Her wish here from GimmeAct.com. Here we are today back in Long Live the Queen doing our third playthrough and going for the Will of the People achievement. So unfortunately we aren't going to be able to load from a save we made in a previous part, so we are going to have to start a fresh game for this. So make sure you go to start game, get to fast forwarding. You can skip the tutorial if you really want to, but once you get into the actual game it's going to be the same as before, but this time picking different classes to get different stats in order to lead the story in the direction we want it to in order to get our specific achievement. This particular achievement that we are going for is going to unlock in the middle of week 39, so that pretty much means we have to play practically the entire game, so make sure you try your best to get through it. Again, you are going to have to follow the text guide in the margins exactly to the letter so you don't get too lost. Remember, even one small mistake can lead to a critical error, which is going to mess up the entire playthrough, so make sure you are very careful and make sure you take your time and make sure you are choosing everything correctly.
start of week 14, we're going to have a costume change. It's going to be the first one of this playthrough. If you forgot how to do them, just go down to outfit and make sure you change it out for the thing that you need the stats for. In this case, you want to make sure you set it to magical girl as we are going to need our lumen stat boosted at this point. Then once you have it selected, just get back to following the guide, choosing all of the right classes and the right choices and the right weekend activities.
costume change number two is going to take place on week 32. Make sure you equip the T dress as you are going to need your conversation stat boosted at this point. We're going to have one more costume change during week 37. Make sure you change over to the cat suit, which is going to boost your intrigue. And then we're just going to hammer it out for the rest of the game while wearing our little spy uniform right here. So once you get to the halfway point of week 39, you should be good for the one and only achievement we were going for in this playthrough. There it is. It's going to be for 80 gamer score. Now, because we have every single one of the ending achievements already, you can feel free to cut your playthrough short here. That should wrap it up for the playthrough. However, if you still don't have the long live the queen achievement, what you can do is you can finish up the rest of this playthrough using these choices. And that will basically give you an ending that should suffice for that achievement. So make sure you fill those out if you still don't have that one. But that's going to wrap it up for our third playthrough. Don't forget to check back soon next time for playthrough number four. But that's going to be it for now. And that's all there is to it.